This video is going to go over how to use bounding boxes with the Spine Unity runtime. The first thing I'm going to show is that I currently have a bounding box attachment uh, under the same slot as my graphical attachment. This is by no means a requirement. You're welcome to add your own slots uh, specifically for uh, the attachments. However, uh, when they are spawned in Unity, it doesn't matter uh, whether they are currently displayed or not, since they are not toggled on and off by choosing set attachment uh, uh, through the method that I'm going to show. And that doesn't mean that it's not capable of doing it, it just means this is the only way to use bounding box attachments that is built directly into the Unity spine runtime. Uh, so after exporting your character, you jump into Unity, uh, and immediately in the inspector you should see uh, if you open up the slots drop down and choose show attachments, uh, the bounding box meshes should be in there as well. Uh, so if I check uh, head hit box, it turns off the graphical one and it will show me uh, the bounding box uh, outline. And similarly with the sword, you can see them in there. So I'm going to spawn uh, an instance of my skeleton and I'm going to choose add skeleton utility spawn hierarchy, and then spawn the entire follow hierarchy, and then drill down uh, until I find uh, the head bone, which is here. And new to the skeleton utility uh, bone script is the bounding box dropdown, in which case it shows uh, the bounding boxes with the slot name, and then a button to spawn a polygon collider 2D object that has all the data from the bounding box attachment uh, as a new game object that has been parented to the bone that it was uh, technically attached to. Uh, technically we could generate the mesh every frame, uh, but this is pretty much the only efficient way to do this in Unity, uh, which is creating a, a polygon collider, 2D collider component and attaching it to a game object or as another component to the root bone, but I feel like this is the, the easiest way to get things started. Uh, so I'm also going to attach uh, my sword hit box as well, and I think, yeah, I can start an animation, just loop, idle, and then on the sword hit box I'm going to drag my bounding box example script on there. Uh, it's a very straightforward script, but it shows on triggered enter 2D and debug out whatever we hit. Uh, so this is a great example of how to detect uh, sword swings or hitboxes or any kind of impact uh, using this system. So now we've got bounding box import from Spine into Spine Unity, uh, at least in the form of Polygon Collider 2Ds. Uh, doing 3D is a little more complicated. We need a mesh extruder. If someone wants to tackle that, by all means, go ahead and commit it to Git. Uh, see ya.